Big Boys Neighborhood, beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to tell you straight up, it is a pleasure to have this man back in the neighborhood, and that is Jeezy. Jeezy, welcome back to the neighborhood. Brother, how you doing, man? Yeah, come on, fantastically well, baby, you know. As Never you stay. should, man. Album just dropped today. Excited, the recession too is in the streets and wherever music is sold, solid project. I'm happy about it. Um, I hope people get some gems and jewels out of it. Definitely a, a great body of work. Hey Amen. And and why did this one get the recession too? You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. when we when we look at catalogs, you know what I'm saying? Like, why was this one like the recession we held very dear to us? Why was that one worthy of? Well, because it was around an election year, and the first recession was um more of a um a celebration because mm -hmm. we had Barack going into the yeah, office, yeah, man, changing regimes. We, we was in a good space, and we were just kind of coasting. This recession is more the recession too. If you listen to it, is more militant mm -hmm. in the sense of you know the sense of seventy, eighty is because going into this election, I don't think people realize. You know, um, and, and that's why I did it, because I wanted to, to capture that moment is that three months ago, four months ago, we was out here marching and fighting for our lives and our, and our people and our kids. And we was getting killed in the streets and, you know, and, and all these different things was happening and looting and all this. And then social media moved so fast. Once we went through the election, people were like, oh, we good. We going back, yeah. to park, back to the club. And they don't realize it was a moment in history they just went through. You know what I'm saying? They don't They don't realize that, you know, People look back and remember when this happened. You know what I mean? So my and we thing, went through a lot, bro. Right. And my thing yeah. was to capture that moment in time. And why I brought it to the recession too is but you know, other than them stimulus checks, we we are really in the middle of a recession. I don't think people mm -hmm. understand that. You know what I'm saying? If they wouldn't give it no more money out right now, it'd be all bad. You know yeah, what I'm and, and you gotta think. Bro. Even what we think is the stimulus check, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, man, you know, those those are those are like crumbs on a table for what it is and how long they want you to hold on to it. Man, I made twelve hundred dollars when I was eleven years old on the on the, on the corner of Papa Street in Napier. Yeah, As man. Twelve year old hustling. That that ain't gonna get it. That can't. So be. How, how do I how do I tell my son or you know tell somebody else in reality like, damn, nah, to not do that when. When man, like people, we really caught up at this moment, bro. Yeah, but I think that the great, you know, it, when when this when this pandemic is over, you're gonna either be better or bitter, right? You know what I'm saying? So my thing is that's why I'm trying to lead by example. It's just like, cause it's real to me, big. You know me, like, yeah. I mean, I got plaques. I'm cool. I mean, the money is. We ain't gotta talk about that. You know what I'm saying? The accolades are there, but I feel like my position as a leader, I gotta show my coach in, in this generation, like, okay, when when one thing don't work. You got to figure something else out and you got to be open to that because that's the world we live in. So you're not going to just tell me I'm just an artist. I'm a talk show host. Right. You know what I'm saying? I have podcasts. I have right. business ventures. I do real estate. I mean, you know, all this, all these different things because that's who I am. But our culture gets caught up in, okay, all the money's here. So we all just going to be entertainers. But then once you're an entertainer and you, 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 and that's what you get boxed into, what happens when the pandemic hit and you can't, Move around and doing yeah, the show, man. doing the thing. What are you gonna do? You still got family, you still got kids. So now you got to be in innovative, and that's been my whole thing the whole time. Like, yo, we got to think now. You got the, the hustles in your mind, and yeah. that's what the recession is about. You know, making it to that place. Like, and if you live, listen to the beginning of it, when Tamika Mallory comes in, she says the mm -hmm. tone, "Oh no, Lord!" But by the time you get the kingdom, that's where we headed. We had it where everybody got some type of financial um, um, set up. Where, where people are, are, are living in their own right and they happy with who they are and they and they doing their thing and the best part about it we ain't killing no niggas like you know we, we just yeah. trying to live and that's where we got to get to i mean it's a far stretch but until somebody says yo this this is the way and that's why i love Pac. you know what i'm saying he believed what he believed like you weren't gonna pull him to the side and go like no nah, i don't work like that he's like no i, I know this in my heart yeah that's man. what i know in my heart i know this in my heart but i feel that Everybody's so stuck trying to get to the bag. And when they get to the bag, they don't take the position of leadership seriously because they got the money. So you're self-serving. I can't be self-serving. I'm like, yo, man, whatever knowledge I got, I'm going to give it to you. If you don't want it, that's cool. But it's yours to take. Hey, you know Jeezy, saying? how much growth, you know what I'm saying, do you think that, even, not even between recession and recession too, but right. just growth as, as, as a man? Because there's conversations 
that you will have or conversations that you will lead or conversations that you will sit at the table with that you probably wasn't doing, you know, right. 10, 15 years ago. Right. Well, the recession started that. Right. So I was just getting into my business bench. I thought, I think I started dealing with Belvedere and some other, like other brands. And I was figuring out the entrepreneur. I had a clothing line and a couple of things with Jay-Z. We had a clothing line together and I was starting to understand business. And I just remember I was in this room and we was doing this, um, this, this, uh, like this meeting. And these guys at the time, they were business guys and they had more money than me at the time. They were business guys, but they were talking about how this recession was coming and how they feared and what they was doing and how they was preparing. And I'm just like, what, what are you talking about? It's like a recession, you know, the money slowly, everything. I'm like, how's that even possible? You know what I'm saying? I'm coming from the hood. I don't know that it can be a point in the world where the finance, financial balance don't work. So I'm learning about this, but I'm also like, damn, I'm, I might need to be prepared. So now I go and I start researching and it just opened up this, you know, it just opened up this world to me and the, the understanding, you know, not that I'm a politician, but how politics work and, and why I gotta be, have some financial literacy here and why I should be doing that. And it just opened up this thing to me and it was just like, it was a breath of fresh air, but I'm like, how do I get this back to the culture? Because I can't just go tell them, you know, you really need to, so I started figuring out how to put it in the music. And yeah. I finally figured it out and, and, and I wrote the records and it resonated. Like they got it, they took it. And then people from the hood didn't even know what a recession was until I explained to them. Like it's a drought, but a drought on the money. Oh, yeah. I get that. And it just went from there. And then the thing with Barack Obama is I saw this guy who was charismatic and he looked like he had some type of understanding on how to communicate with people. Not that he was the end all be all, but he knew how to communicate as a leader. And I'm sitting there and I'm going, this guy's special. And I and I started watching what he was doing and following what he had going on. And, and when he, sure enough, when he started running for presidency, I'm like, okay, I think he pulled it off. I really believe in what he's doing. His campaign is real. He out here touching people and, 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 and really boots on the ground. And right around before the election, I mean, my wrote my president is black. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was almost like, you know, I, I, I spoken into ex existence in my mind. So I wrote it and put it on the album four months before he was actually elected. So the album came out and it was four months <laughs> after and, he was elected. And, and that's a time too, Jeezy, where it wasn't like at midnight, you could just strip it off the album because right. it was being streamed. Right, you know right, what right, I'm right, saying? Right. Like, yeah. It was, it was really, I had to really believe it in my heart, but I'm saying that to say that um, I, I, I my gift, that's my gift. Like I'm, I'm like the, uh, the, the, the. I'm like the, the, the in between thing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm the one that walks in both worlds. Cause I'm packaged like that. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm worldly yeah, enough yeah. to, to, to go over into these business meetings. But I'm from the hood, in real life. You know what I'm saying? So I can. Why do you, why do you care enough to make sure that you convey that to, to us or convey it to the neighborhoods or you know what I'm saying? As, as opposed to I got the game and I'm good and. You know, no, no, you got to no, find no. that out for yourself. Cause that's my gift. That's who I am. Like that's, I'm not great. It's my gift. That's the gift that God gave me. Like that's who I am. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes me happy. That's what, that's why I go do it to bring it back because that's my gift. And that's why people love me. That's why when you see people be like, yo, Jeezy, but that's why they love me. They like, if he yeah. got it, he gonna give it to us. And that's why I do what I do because like all my platforms, even my platform of Fox Soul were worth the conversation. Um, the, the airs that are on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. You know, I'm having conversations with Steve Harvey about, you know, his tough time sleeping in his car. How did that, you know, all those different things. I'm having conversations with Deion Sanders about, you know, the time he almost committed suicide. People need to hear that. I'm having conversations yeah. with Tamika Mallory about why she moved to Kentucky to fight for Breonna Taylor. Like, and what she went through and is her life in danger? And it is, and you know, we gotta hear that. You know, what, yeah. I'm saying? You know what I love about it too, though, Jeezy, is mm -hmm. it's not just the, oh, oh, it's the growth, it's the growth, it's the growth. But I love, man, that we we get Jeezy, but it's still Jeezy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like it's, it's not like, man, what is he doing? What is he up to? What's going on here? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's Jeezy and it's always been. And for yeah. anybody that's been rocking with you for years, or if you're just picking up the recession too for the first time, we there's been this path that you have taken with us or we've had a chance to take with you all or both of us together all of us together where it is this growth 
You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with Steve Harvey, but I didn't have the conversation you had. Right. I don't know the Deion Sanders story until you. So, so we need you to connect those dots as well, man. And somebody probably may be a little more comfortable talking to you than right. they are talking to a Don Lemon. Or you got an audience that I remember probably. I wrote a book. It's the audience. Ago. Right. It's yeah. the audience that wouldn't get a chance to hear. And then also, I have a podcast that I did yeah. in combination with the album called the Recession Podcast that I that I collab with uh, Charlemagne the God and Black. Yeah, man. Shout out to Charlemagne. He's doing big things in the pod sp podcast space. And my first guest on there was Tony Robbins. Yeah, imagine, I saw that, man. Imagine Jeezy and Tony Robbins having a motivation conversation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, but let me tell you, man, when I clicked in on that, I want to keep it real with y'all. Like, man, what the fuck? I'm, 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 but Jeezy, for real, man, I'm 26 calendars in on radio. You know what I'm saying? But, but you know what I love about that too, man? It's real talk. It's so-called out the genre. And we right. have these conversations, man. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? We have these conversations. And those are the conversations that we got to bring back. Or those are the conversations we yeah. got to spread. You know, yeah. we starting to have more conversations about mental health and mental wellness. Well, we weren't yeah. having those conversations, no, bro. No. We weren't and, saying, are you talking to somebody or anything of that nature? And my last guest on on, on, my, on the podcast was Freeway, uh, the, yeah. the artist. Yeah, and man. Telling me about- How's he doing? He's doing better now, but he's telling me about his, um, his kidney failure and how he was doing dialysis without any insurance. And then he had, he, he actually found a kidney, somebody's son passed and he got, their kid, he got his kidney. Then a couple months later, if I'm not mistaken on the timeline, his son tragically was was killed and he donated four of his son's organs to save four people's lives. That's beautiful. And while he's telling me that, he, his daughter's sitting next to him. She gotta be no more than 16, 18. And she was just diagnosed with cancer. And I'm like, bro, how you handling all this? And he like, God, a lot people need to hear that, big. Yeah. Cause there's people out there going through real things and I can't mm -hmm. relate. And what really made me like, really be like, and I get it is when he told me like, yeah, I've been having conversations with Scarface and talking yeah, to man. him and being there for him cause he's going through his thing. Imagine somebody being that strong that done went through that that can talk to you about getting a kidney, what it's like on to be on the waiting list and just to keep the faith. People need to hear that across the world. And I just feel like, again, that's my gift is to connect the dots and to bring the real stories in because everybody yeah. don't know what we go through. And then all our people don't know what goes on on this end. So me even sitting down with Joe Biden and having a meeting with him wasn't about him being the end all be all. It's about, right. okay, listen, now we're gonna get this done for you, right? Yeah. Mind you, but you know, we're gonna need a couple of things too. But I also want my people to see that every vote does count. So when yeah, we see that. Yeah, when you sitting there and they like, yo, you need to go vote. Like my vote don't count. And, uh, we just turned Georgia blue. You see it. Yeah, man. We, and we, and, and yeah. we're we're looking at what if twelve thousand plus people sat at home. Home, exact, and every little vote counted. Yeah. And I'm glad that us as a culture, we saw that when we mobilize, what happens. And also this record I just dropped um, with the video last night after yeah, man. with uh, Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Uh, Almighty Black Dollar. It's like, yo, we make all these brands hot. We make all these brands big. We make all this culture real. You know what I'm saying? So just know that our our, our opinion and our, our stance, it counts just as much. You know what I'm saying? So Because we're taking yeah. these things and we're making them trophies. Like we're not making bonds, trophies, deeds, trophies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 savings accounts, uh, 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 scholarship funds for your kids. You know what I'm saying? Trust funds. We're not showing that off. That's right. the real wealth. Hey man, you know, and that, man? that's what I tell people too, man. They be like, man, such as I'm like, man, I don't, I don't, you know, and no disrespect to anybody that do it, but I'm like, man, I don't put money to my ear. You right. know, I, I hold a deed up to my ear. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not knocking it. I'm just no, saying, not at all. I'm just saying, know your worth. Yeah, and, and, and my thing also, bro, is when we when we see it, it's like they don't want a lot of people don't want you to know your work, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. Because if they then they won't get it at the discount, or they don't understand that what our what our dollars really mean, right? And if you take away our dollars and you take away our influence, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, now that's the big word that's the word influence. Yes, that's sir. Yeah, and that's we have influ yeah. influenced yes. the entire. World. world world and i know when yeah, your know world that. travels bro you've seen coming off the block when you get off the plane with your passport 
Right. I know there's been times, especially early on, where you were like, what the hell is going on? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, and you see the influence. I've traveled and I see what what the world looked like and what our culture looked like across the across the planet. They, they love it. It's because we 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 lead we lead with, with heart and we lead together, meaning like once we all own something, we all own yeah. that. But we all gotta be on what we gotta be on. So when we was all on uh voting, it worked. Right. So we all on the next thing, it'll work too. And we just keep showing that our strength. And when they come to us, we just all got to be on the same page. It's like, okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> you know what I'm Man. saying? Send it for us. <laughs> I thought that when I heard the announcement for Versus, right. at first I'm like, okay, well, you know, T.I.'s fishing. And then we get, you know, T.I. is about to go. You know, he's looking for, you know, uh, somebody to get down with 50 Cent, then Buster jumps in, so on and so forth. So I'm thinking that season two is T.I. Automatic. Mm -hmm. Then I see you jump in, you're like, hey man, you know, let's bring it back this way. So now I see that it's T.I. and Jeezy. Mm -hmm. Then it seemed like the promo, like the flyer just flipped. Mm -hmm. And I saw what I thought, I'm gonna tell you straight up, when I first saw Jeezy and Gucci Mane versus, mm -hmm. I Googled, you know what I'm saying? Like just to see like, if somebody putting up like one of these, I wish we could see this happen, so on and so forth. Why was that necessary for you to say, mm -hmm. you know what, man, with all the history that's right there and really you know we 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 glance and we look and we think we know but we don't feel what mm. you and gucci feel all right why was it necessary for you to do this versus i mean i just think you know i've grown mm -hmm. i'm quite sure he has too and i just think it was you know it, it's god's will that it would come back around full circle with a platform like that yeah you know what i'm saying at a time like this where everybody's paying attention you know and it just like it, it, it was more so like, you know, it started, whatever happened in the streets is it, it, for us to, you know, figure out right now. And, 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 you know, when we did it, I felt like for the culture, it was a thing to do. And I felt like for what I was seeing happening in the streets, like me right. as a man, I'm like, bro, like this because of what people think we got going on. Yeah, what it's supposed to, oh, this is the way it's supposed to be. Supposed to be, because that's the way we thought it was supposed to be, because we saw what happened with Big and Pac. But I'm like, this is where we got the chance to fix that. What well, they didn't have the chance to fix that. And if you seen what just happened to King Vaughn, yeah. if you just seen what happened to that kid, Mo3 getting chased down and yeah, murdered bro. on the highway, King Vaughn laying in the street, like they loved this kid, man. He was on his way. You know, he he was he was finding his own bank roll fresh. Dobie was shot on the stage. Yeah. Uh, uh, Pop Smoke was Brooklyn raised and went to the hills of Beverly Hills to be killed. Like, where does that happen? Nipsey Hussle was killed mm -hmm. at the store. I went to his funeral. I ain't never felt like that. I felt the whole dark cloud in LA that day of, of Nipsey's funeral. Yeah, man. It was it was the worst thing ever. And it just like, the goal is to get out of the hood to be able to set up a new life, not to get out of the hood, to bring all the demons with you. And then, you know, you, 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 everything you work for getting snatched from under you, right? And it's just like we get we 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 gotta figure this out. We gotta fix this for them because they they looking at us. How does that come together? Like, you know, you, are you with Timberland and Swiss Beats and, and uh, how does the suggestion come together? I'm quite sure for them it's business. I mean, I, I reached out. I reached out to Gucci. Yeah I, yeah, I reached out. That was the whole thing. I reached out. I'm just like, and, and I was just like, yo, I think we gotta do this. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that's how I really started off, but. You know, for me, like it ain't about the music, man. It's about real life, man. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just a grown man. Like I, I ain't for seeing senseless murders, like for no reason. I understand protecting your family, protecting yourself, and not playing no games with nobody because that ain't never gonna happen. But when it just get ignorant, it's just like, man, come on, man. Did y'all have a lot of dialogue before y'all actually met up at Magic City to do verses, or I'm in between a, or a few conversations. You know, between teams, you know, teams yeah. talking, and just making sure, you know, checking the, checking the temperature. So, I mean, you know, it was it was like I I'd rather not say because you know I'm just waking up this morning and I I don't I haven't even been out in the world yet, so I don't know how this ha has affected anyone, including myself. So I I haven't had time to reflect. I just know right last night was you know like in the moment it's just like yo man look <laughs> you know what I'm saying like hey man with being not even kind of like you know, a full day removed from it as we're sitting here talking. How do, how do you feel now 
that that's in the rearview mirror? Do you feel like, man, that was that was a huge step? If I'm honest, I'm one of the people like I like to be in my space and my peace and reflect. But you know, since last night I've been doing interviews since five o'clock this morning. Yeah. I ain't even had time to really like think and 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 to see how I feel about it. But I I tell you this, when I woke up in the mirror, that's my that's my initial check. You know, I look in the mirror, and, and as long as I feel like that integrity is there, then then that's how I start. So I didn't feel like any integrity was compromised. Did it start off to you kind of crazy though? Like, were you expecting? The way that it started off, Jeezy, and just some of the the going back and forth, were were, were you expecting those kind of things? I'm gonna be honest with you, Magic City is near and dear to me because that's where my career broke, and the DJ who broke my records, he was slain, he was murdered. You know, he's one of my good friends. He actually told me to get out of the streets before it happened to me, and they actually murdered him first. Um, when I walked in, there, I felt them. And, and Magic is like the big homie and that's his establishment. So I know he knows both of us personally. And, you know, it's like your uncle being in the building. You can't right. disrespect Unc. Right, right, right. So I felt that. And, and and Magic is somebody personal. Like me and Magic trade books. Like I call, I send him quotes. Like we, we and he know me from the streets when I was crazy. You know what I'm saying? When I was nuts. Like he's been so many times out of fault and, and had shit out of the club. <laughs> he like, Jeezy, why you up here shooting him a club again? You know what I'm saying? But. <laughs> I'm in a different space now. And he like, okay, geez, I do this for you. Cause I called him, I was like, yo, I want to do this thing, but I want to do it in Magic City. And he's like, I got you, say no more. So I hooked him up with the Apple people. Imagine that, you got from the hood, from the streets, putting together a play like that on this level. I said, the whole world gonna be watching Magic City yeah, man. on this date. And um, I felt Nando and I just felt comfortable. Like, I just felt like, you know, like this is mutual. Like, okay, so let's just see how it's gonna go. Right. You know were you saying? upset by like as a man or just as a human being? Like I saw that you y'all kept y'all composure. Right. But at some point, did you ever think like, man, what the hell? Why am I here? No, I just I just felt like I wasn't gonna lose my cool. Like I wasn't gonna let anyone, including myself, drag right. me back 20 years. I worked mm -hmm. so hard to get in a place where things are good for me. I got multiple things going on. I employ a lot of people and everybody depend on me. And I, mm -hmm. I, as a matter of fact, I got a, a daughter that I love very much. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to make yeah. it back home to her. I'm not putting myself in no position to prove no point nobody that I'm real. I've been real. You know, yeah. ask about me from South Central to, 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 to the streets of Detroit. It's solid. Ain't nothing come ever going to change that. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah, have anything man. to prove. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I got to prove to myself is I want to be better than I was yesterday. So when I went in there, I wasn't going to come, because that would have been an L for me to walk out of there and, and be like, yo, I just really lost my composure yeah. in the world because somebody was playing with me like we in the sixth grade. Yeah, was there tension in the room, Jeezy? Oh yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <if> I, yeah. <laughs> like, nah, big, I didn't catch any tension. <laughs> Let hey, me like, tell you, man, I wasn't even in Magic City and I was right. already backing up against the wall right, too. Right, 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 right. <laughs> now, I mean, it was, I'm, but, but yeah. that's what made it so real, it was real. Yeah, man. You know, and I hope, I hope, I hope it was a takeaway, you know what I'm saying, for anybody, you know, and of course it's gonna be, People who feel how they feel, but they ain't none of their business because it wasn't their business in the first place. Right, right. Okay. And man, when I saw the record breaking numbers and I'm sitting there, Jeezy, and I'm looking at, you know, all the blue checks and people talking, so on and so forth. And then when it started to get a little uncomfortable, even just sitting at the house watching it, right? right. I was like, man, how do, what's the recovery from this? And mm -hmm. as I'm watching it and I'm seeing when, when you go, his, his people are like, you know, statued. And then when you go, he go, it's like, I'm like, man, what is gonna become of this? I'm like, there's no way in the world they gonna do so icy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm sitting there like, man, this ain't gonna happen. So mm -hmm. I'm looking at it and I'm going through it, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing this. And, I, and I'm talking about when you say culture, when we say hip hop, I'm looking at, I'm like, man, this is bigger to me than all that because right. The, these were two grown men. Right. And then you had people that would have did any and everything for you without right. you even saying it. You got to calm your homies down first because right. right. they ready. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So when I saw that, I was like, man, this isn't about the recession too. This isn't about what, what the next bit. I was like, man, these dudes, man, that right there, when we say boss, when we say king shit, Mm. I looked at that, bro, and I was like, 
that is huge for right. mankind because right. anybody else that think they got a problem can, can and they, right. come on bro yeah. it was a reason why there was two two thrones on that on, on that on that um stage bro like i i when i walked in i said okay and and, and my thing is big like you know we sold millions of records made millions of dollars you know what i'm saying it's just like you know, the least least you can be, I, I, I gotta be concerned about my people in the next generation. Yeah. I know a lot of the things I did um, was based off of what I saw. You know what I'm saying? And and, 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 and I say again, even the big and, and Pac thing, that that was that, that, that was real. Like imagine yeah, if man. it could have been fixed. Like imagine yeah. if, what, what would we have? We had some pioneers that would be like, you know, yeah, what, what would Pac be doing right now on the revolutionary stands? Like, what would he be, you know what I mean? But it's just like, Pac was bigger than what we wanted him to be. We wanted him just to be street. The man was in the art. He was in. He was in the dance. He was in the theater. Yeah, man. He was in the acting. He was in the fashion. Was hey, in the bro. Poetry. My my That's best that. conversations with with Pac was just sitting in a room together. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? My best conversations were sitting on a bus together, or mm -hmm. sitting in a van together. Or, mm -hmm. you know, at, at my homeboy Smokey's mm -hmm. house, because his mom, you know, Black Panthers, well, just sitting, sitting on sharing the same bed, just sitting there talking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just with those conversations, bro, and I was like, man, those voices get silenced. Right. And when I saw what y'all were doing, I was like, man, that is such a deposit right. into hip hop, the culture. Right. mankind black men it was such a deposit when it could have been so easy to withdraw like well, everything that you've made in your career right, money wise right. accolades everything man those are deposits it takes right. one withdrawal to pull it out wipe it all out i'm gonna tell you what he told me man if you do it life was it was easy life would be hard if you're doing life was hard life would be easy you know what I'm saying? I'm saying yes, sir. It, it was so easy to do the other thing. Hey man, at the end, when I seen y'all salute each other, you know what I'm saying? I was like, bro. And it was crazy because I was sitting there watching that Jeezy and I was like, man, we made it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it sound crazy, but I was mm. like, for whatever people was watching that for, mm. look how this ended. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, mm. and right now, you know, I don't know if if, if y'all going to lunch today or something like that, but there's so much that mm. y'all put into that where mm. now, you know, what is the what's next? You know, at least now, it could, it, it, even if it's just a simple real wave, you mm. know what I'm saying? That but, wasn't happening. I like, listen, I don't, I don't care what it is like with us. As long as some little 21 year old kid ain't shooting another 21 year old kid because he think that's what I'm gonna do. If it's not self defense, yeah. I'm there for that. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying I'm there for that because that's what that was about for me. It's for them. Yeah, so man. Up, you know, what and you know what I thought too, man. Just being my age and the things that I've been through for real in my life, th this microphone saved my life, bro. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? And that was on accident. Same. To sit there and and to watch that, I was like, man, that was the most gangster shit <laughs> that I've seen. Because it's easy to jump across that H, bro, and y'all right. go at each other. It's easy, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, like right, composure. Right. And when people say, "Man, to live another day," and 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 what do what do y'all tell y'all kids or y'all loved ones? You know what I'm saying? Right. If 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 y'all had just said, "Man, you know, millions of people are watching." Yeah, we were watching, and y'all led by example, bro. Right, right. You led by example, man. And and, and and that goes even into the album, the body of work I put together is about leading by example. And I, I think I would have been a hypocrite to right. do anything different. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I got assessed and I ain't even, you know, reflected yet, but yeah. um, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm excited about this new project. I'm excited about the time. I'm excited about the album officially being out, having my video out with Ross. Yeah, man. I'm excited. And you know what I love about this is that now it's celebration time again. Yes. yes you know what I'm saying? Yes. It's, it's about, it's about music. Then right. I love, man, even with, with last night on Versus and Apple, they didn't let you blink before they went right into the video. You know what I'm right. saying? And you probably didn't watch it, man, but when right. Almighty Black Dollars came on, it was right. like they didn't let you stand up. And you was like, right. oh, okay, that's new music. It shot right. well. I saw the queen was in it as well. And, oh, yeah. and, so, and, and, and how's the queen? How's Jeannie doing? She's good. She's about, she's 100%. She's back. Praise Thank God, you. man. 
for your for your blessings and your and, and your and your prayers. Yeah, man. So Jeezy, man, what what's next, man? You know, we we oh, we oh. in a 2020, a crazy year. Yeah. And hopefully we on some greater later. You know, you got your body of workout right now, man. What's the what's the next moves? Well, I, just, I just got um my position. I read up at Def Jam, so I got my position. <laughs> I'm a senior advisor to the chairman. So I'm gonna go in and, 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 and tighten up with him in the building, man. You know, I'm 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 on my El Presidente thing. So As I'm you should excited. be, bro. I'm, I'm excited about that. So next year for me, it's clearly gonna be that. I'm focused. Like I want to put some points on the board. And um, you know, I I want to I want this is about legacy at this point. I want yeah. to take some young people's careers and, and help change some lives. So that's where I'm at. Hey man, I'm gonna tell you straight up, bro. Like just watching you throughout the years, and I love seeing you know the calendars being torn away and the candles being blown out, mm -hmm. and I love celebrating life, and I love seeing like some of the OGs, man, still continue to do what they do with no expiration date. Right. not looking goofy you know what i'm saying right, right, right. And, and, and and really bro like even with recession two the recession two man do you feel like with such a catalog and there's always like you could y'all could have went on verses and you could have played another 20 easy right. you another, know what i'm saying another 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so when you go in man do you feel in competition with yourself or your last bodies of work no nah, i just i think it's it's almost like writing a book Mm -hmm. You want to compete with the last book. It's just how you feel. You know, I, I write my best music when I feel because I want people to feel me. It's when I don't feel and I try to make music is when when I'm off. But this yeah. body of work I felt. I knew I needed it. I knew if, I knew what I wanted to sound like. I knew what I wanted to look like. I knew what I wanted to feel like. And it's going to be one of them ones where people listen to it over time. They're going to be like, wow, like I get it. Hey, I get Jeezy, it. I can't tell you. How, and I know the world did too, bro. I can't tell you how many y'all must have forgot moments I had watching verses. Why? Because we think we know the catalog, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And then you were hit and we like, oh shit. You start to remember where you were at. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or what that vibe was, or what the world felt like at the time. Like, And I just thought that it was, you know, for whatever it looked like at the beginning and how it looked at the end, it, I just felt like, man, this is a celebration too. And it's a so, celebration to the to the men that's doing it. It's a celebration to the culture, celebration of hip hop, and and a celebration to the music, man. So, you know what I'm saying? So, and, uh -huh. and, and you've given us some good music, bro. And, and I know you'll continue to do so. And Make I can sure. tell, man, you you good in life right now, bro. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm happy to be here, man. Free. Yeah. You know, you know, it's, it's breathing air. You know, I'm, I'm one yeah, of those guys, man. You know, it could have went either way in life, man. So for yeah. me right now. I'm just about protecting my peace, man, and just staying happy. And I so, tell people too, man, I say, man, you know what? I know what the problems are. And mm. this right here, this ain't a problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I know what real problems are, homie. And this, this ain't a problem. So, so man, I thank you for your time, man. Time so is precious. Big. Love, baby. And you kept it one thou while again. Right. Where you showed up today, you know what right. I'm saying? I'm <laughs> I definitely thought that you was gonna blow off, man. You know uh, what I'm saying? Man, I can't, come on, not the big, not hey the man. Old. And album wise, recession, bro. Like, you you didn't grab a gang of collaborations, but you grabbed the right ones. Yeah, that it was, felt I, like it was I, very specific, I, I, I right? To the to the, I, I didn't want to like it wasn't about who, how, who not. It was just like, you know what, you fit this. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying you could talk about this, like, you, you understand this, and I just want to paint a picture that was timeless. That was Amen. my goal to make it some time. But you know what I noticed too, though, fam, is that like, and you kind of brought it up where there's a thing, you know, the, the whatever people call it good in the hood, you know, the, the earth is my turf, but there's spots that you will go to, bro. Like even here in Los Angeles, man, LA, we fuck with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and I mean, like, because you really fuck with us you mess with us too though right. you know what i'm saying like you come to town and it ain't about going to the glitzy places you right, you right. hit hood areas <laughs> right, you right. talk you know what i'm saying right. <laughs> like 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 for real man and when you were saying like you know where where you where you touch down detroit wherever it may be right. i think people see that in you man for sure man i love them though this, this, this i'm here for us that's what i'm yeah. here for big long as we here i got us Man, man, well, continue to inspire, man, and continue to lead us, though, bro. All and right, I, I appreciate your time, man. Recession, so, recession, recession two, two is together. There it I is right it. there, man. Big dog. I appreciate you, man. Jeezy in the neighborhood, big boy's big neighborhood. Boy.